name is David Sloman and I'm the Chief Executive of the Royal Free Hampstead NHS Trust in North London. I'm proud to be able to introduce this film showing some of the work that the Royal Free Hospital Ophthalmology Department has been doing over the last two years as part of the worldwide Vision 2020 Links programme. The success of Vision 2020, the right to sight, is based on its collaborative work. In the UK in 2004, partnerships were set up linking eye departments in UK hospitals with teaching hospitals into the developing countries. Staff from the Royal Free Hospital have been volunteering their time and exchanging visits with staff from the Malago Hospital in Kampala, Uganda. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our film and I hope that you will be inspired, as we have been here at the Royal Free, to support this exciting and worthwhile project in whatever way that you can. Vision 2020 is the global initiative for the elimination of avoidable blindness throughout the world. The right to sight is something we may take for granted in the UK, but everyone in the world has the right not to go blind from avoidable conditions, and up to 80% of blindness is avoidable. While in the UK there is one ophthalmologist for every 60,000 people, in Uganda there is one ophthalmologist for every 810,000 people and 90% of their 42 ophthalmologists live in Kampala, while 90% of their 34 million patients live in the countryside. So the right to sight is currently not a reality for the majority of the people of Uganda, which is why the Vision 2020 Links program is so vital to them all. Malago Hospital in Kampala is Uganda's leading teaching hospital. In the general clinics during our visit, we were able to collaborate on some tricky diagnoses as well as offer advice and training on assessment techniques. And in the glaucoma clinic, we continued the training we'd begun last year and saw how the staff were getting better results with their patients. Children especially can prove really hard to assess. And being a guinea pig for an assessment is a very useful way of helping staff gain confidence in using new techniques. The right equipment is vital for diagnosing and treating eye conditions. Three months before we came out, the hospital had acquired a laser through the EU, but it had no lenses. On hearing this, the Royal Free Nurses raised the money and bought lenses and trained the staff to use the equipment. We were then amazed to learn that there were two refugees who'd heard about the laser in Kampala and travelled thousands of miles across Africa, from both Libya and Ethiopia. Both of these patients have diabetic retinopathy and if left untreated can cause blindness. The only treatment in the later stages is laser surgery. In the UK, training attachments on the microscopes make training surgeons to operate much easier as the students can watch exactly what the surgeon is doing. But one of the main difficulties in the Malago training program is that there are no teaching attachments for their theatre microscope. So it's much harder to train the future surgeons effectively. We also spent several hours each day teaching the medical and nursing students. Uganda desperately needs more trained staff and we assisted in training ophthalmic nurse practitioners who are able to go out into the countryside and carry out assessments, encouraging those who need treatment then to make the journey to Kampala. The children we saw in the clinics were the lucky ones, those who had been brought in for assessment. But we know that there are hundreds more children who are in need of help to prevent them going blind. So the training programme is vital if the Vision 2020 aim is to be achieved. And with your generosity we can continue the work, providing more hands-on training and the equipment that's so vital for swift and effective treatment of these conditions. If you'd like to make a donation, you can do so through Just Giving by visiting the Royal Free Charity website at www royalfreecharity.org. Please help us to keep moving forwards towards the right to sight becoming a reality for our colleagues in Kampala and their patients, the people of Uganda. Thank you very much.